Hi, Bob Thompson for Smartphone Matters. Today, I wanted to share my summary and thoughts about Freedom Pop. I ordered my Freedom Pop nationwide 4G LTE SIM kit, and I signed up for a free trial of their $20 premium 1 gigabyte LTE unlimited plan. That plan includes unlimited talk and text plus 1 gigabyte of high speed data per month. And as I said, the trial was free, so the first month was free. Now, Freedom Pop also offers a free basic LTE 200 plan, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Now, the Freedom Pop SIM in this kit uses AT&T's LTE network. Freedom Pop also offers other plans and services on the T-Mobile and Sprint networks, and they also have a global SIM card. But for today, I'm only discussing what I signed up for, which is the nationwide 4G LTE service. Now, I like Freedom Pop. I think it's an innovative idea. They offer both free and premium plans. But there are some things you really need to know and understand to decide if Freedom Pop is right for you. Now, I tried the service with both my iPhone 6S and my Nexus 6 using Android. The most important thing to understand about Freedom Pop is you need to use the Freedom Pop app for phone calls and text messages. You cannot use your phone's built-in phone or messaging app. This means that you may not be able to use your phone the way you're accustomed to. With my iPhone 6S, I quickly learned that the SIM card only has cellular data. You must install and use the Freedom Pop app to place and receive phone calls, as well as send and receive SMS, text, or MMS picture messages. You cannot use the iPhone's built-in phone app for calls, nor can you use the Messages app for SMS, text messages, or MMS picture messages. Now, iMessage will still work, but you may not be able to use it the way you want to. Now, the reason for this is because Freedom Pop provides your voice and messages through the Freedom Pop app, and that app uses your internet connection. That's your Wi Fi or cellular data service. Now, I like the fact that Freedom Pop has both free and affordable monthly premium plans. The $20 plan that I signed up for is a really good value. They also have that basic 200 LTE plan that comes with 200 minutes of talk, 500 messages, and 200 megabytes of data for free. Now, you would pay about $15 a month for the same amount of talk, text, and data on a track phone plan. Now, the plans aren't exactly the same, but still, that's $180 a year for track phone, and you could get the same amount of service for free with Freedom Pop. Now, I also like the fact that you can earn additional data by completing offers and referring friends, so potentially you can have more than 200 megabytes of free data per month. And I also like the fact that they offer service on AT&T's 4G LTE network. That network has very good coverage in the Metro Boston area where I live. And I like the fact that it doesn't seem like they've set a max download speed like other services. When I ran some speed tests for Freedom Pop, it seemed to be about as fast as other services that use the AT&T network. Now, there were some things I didn't like. If you use an iPhone, Freedom Pop doesn't fully integrate with the built-in iPhone apps. You won't be able to use the iPhone's phone app or the contacts app to manage your calls. You also won't be able to use the iPhone's visual voicemail. Now, Freedom Pop does offer their own visual voicemail service and an app for an additional $2.50 per month. And you're not going to be able to use the Messages app to manage all your messages. You have to use the Freedom Pop app for SMS text messages and MMS picture messages. Now, you can still use messages for Apple's iMessage service with other people using Apple products. But this means you're going to be using two different messaging apps. Further, when I signed up, I was unable to activate my Freedom Pop phone number with iMessage, meaning other people would have to send messages to my email address for me to use iMessage. And it turns out that MMS picture messages and group texts are a premium service. So you'll need to sign up for Freedom Pop's MMS and group messaging service for an additional $2 per month. Now, if you're not an iPhone user, you may not understand, but iPhone users really rely on the built-in apps. Messages is one of the reasons why so many people stick with the iPhone. Also, with Freedom Pop, you won't be able to dial calls using your contacts or any other app that can make calls. This includes tapping on phone numbers on a web page in Safari. You also won't be able to use Siri voice command for calls and messages. Now, the iPhone offers an integrated experience. You can't change or customize the core built-in apps. With Freedom Pop, you're giving up a lot of that experience to use their service. Now, with Android, You'll still need to use the Freedom Pop app for calls and messages, but to me, the experience feels better. You can replace the default apps on the phone. My phone was able to automatically launch the Freedom Pop app to dial calls, and I was also able to set Freedom Pop as the default app for messaging. Now, clearly, this is one of the strengths of Android. And then I did want to mention that while I found the data speeds on Freedom Pop's 
LTE network to be fast, the ping or response time was a little on the high side when I measured them, meaning that you might see some latency or slower responses when doing things like browsing web pages or using the internet. Now, moving on, I would say that it's been a bit challenging for me to describe and explain the Freedom Pop service. The plans have a lot of options when you sign up for the free trial, and it wasn't clear to me what was included with the one gigabyte LTE plan and what was a premium service. For example, it wasn't clear to me that MMS, picture messages, and group texts are a premium service. When I did my review, I was actually enrolled in a trial of the $8 Freedom Pop Premium Plus service, that service bundles MMS and group text, visual voicemail, and rollover data. I also wanted to mention that I found freedompop.com a little hard to navigate when I was looking to change from the premium plan to the free plan. I also figured out later I needed to downgrade from the premium service as well. And as far as I can tell, there is no free voicemail option. If you want voicemail, you'll need to use the visual voicemail service for $2.50 a month. If you don't want to pay for voicemail, you're going to want to make sure you disable your voicemail. Otherwise, people can still leave you messages, but you'll have no way to listen to them. At least I couldn't find one. Ultimately, I decided that even though I really like the idea of a $20 premium one gigabyte LTE unlimited plan, I'm not going to transfer my personal number to Freedom Pop. My primary phone is an iPhone 7, and I don't want to give up iMessage and the other integrations I rely on. So I downgraded my service to the basic LTE 200 plan. Now, your needs may be different. The trade-offs for Freedom Pop may be acceptable for you. With my current prepaid service, I can't use Apple's visual voicemail. I don't need visual voicemail, so it was easy for me to give that up. Other people I've spoken with think that not having visual voicemail is a deal breaker. So what I'm really trying to say is what really matters is what's important to you. Now, that said, I keep a few phones around here for doing smartphonematters.com related stuff. And having Freedom Pop to keep an extra phone active on a free plan is awesome. I'm also considering switching over some family members with Android phones to Freedom Pop. And I think if you have a phone that supports two SIMs, you should definitely sign up for Freedom Pop. You'll have a second number and extra data you can use. If you need more data or services, you can buy it. Or you can earn free data by referring friends and completing offers. I think that's kind of a no-brainer. So with Freedom Pop, you can get free phone service and data, which is very impressive. They also have some affordably priced premium plans. If you want to use this as your primary phone service, you definitely want to understand how the service works with your phone, as well as what's a free service and what's a premium service. For more details, check out my article on smartphonematters.com. I'll continue to update that article with corrections and more information about Freedom Pop as I use it more. And finally, I did want to mention I have some affiliate links for Freedom Pop in the description below the video and in my article on smartphonematters.com. If you use those links, you'll be helping support the Smartphone Matters YouTube channel without any additional cost to you. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you found it useful, give it a like. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to the Smartphone Matters YouTube channel. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below or better yet, head on over to smartphonematters.com. Thanks for watching.